This is the final chapter on pattern making and I have to include this last episode as a core making and just a real real quick review on what a core is in case this is the first video you're watching. A core is a, a, a piece of sand to a certain shape that is inserted in the sand mold and when the metal is poured in we end up with a void in the casting in this case it will, it's a little cylinder and we have the bore already cast in. Now this core was made in a metal core box actually we can make three in there at a time and as you can see we've got uh, alignment pins this is an aluminum core box so uh, the core can be uh, baked or gassed. Put a C-clamp on there and I usually put it in the kitchen oven, no odor involved, and uh, 15 minutes at 350 and it's hard and then it can be separated using these little slots on each side with a screwdriver and you can pop it open and re <coughs> remove the cores. Cores can be used only once. I'm going to make a core here in a few minutes and uh, it's nothing more than common silica sand like you use for sandblasting and I'm using uh, sodium silicate as a binder uh, more commonly called water glass it used to be a preservative for eggs years ago it was a very common uh, material now it's kinda hard to find but this is what they used in cash for clunkers to destroy all of the engines it sets up with uh, carbon dioxide CO2 activated it's a clear viscous liquid looking something like uh, caro white syrup only it's not all that sticky. Now the core box that I'm going to uh, make, I'm going to make this big core, two inch in diameter, about ten inches long. We're just using common two inch PVC. It can be used only once. I'll ram the sand in there, gas it, and then I will split it in two and throw away the old shell. Now I've made these little uh, slits in here on the milling machine and the only reason I did that is maybe it's not necessary but it makes it easier uh, later on when I go to uh, cut this in half with my Dremel tool. I only got half as much material to remove. This is 78 cents so it's uh, expendable. Okay in just a moment uh, I'm going to clear this bench and set up for core making. All the materials are assembled now for the core making and uh, just one other thing that uh, many other types of uh, sands and formulas or recipes can be used for core making uh, other than the CO2 process. <clears throat> Most often they used to use oatmeal or some kind of cereal and molasses. I know it sounds like something to eat but uh, that was often used and you'll find those recipes in old foundry books and uh, the purpose of the oatmeal was that it would burn out then after the casting was poured and would provide some collapsibility that is it was easy to break the core out so what we have here is silica sand from Illinois and I have filled up the core box which is this piece of pipe to the top with uh, sand and I got a little extra down here and we're working on double newspaper, triple newspaper here so it's easy to clean up. We've got uh, the water glass, we've got a dowel to kind of ram it down and uh, that's all there is to it except we need CO2. Now my CO2 was nothing more than a fire extinguisher that I got at an auction and uh, it works fairly good because I'll just ram uh, put this over the pipe. However, I don't have control over the pressure here, so I'm getting way too much and sometimes snow comes out, so that's not real good. Now, if you don't have an old fire extinguisher or any other kind of CO2, you can use your MIG welder. And uh, the shielding gas, of course, is only 25% CO2, but that will work. Okay, this is somewhat messy, so I'm just going to let all the sand come out and make a little depression right here. Now I don't really know how much of this water glass to tell you to add but I'm I'm putting in probably a couple ounces and if I need more I will add more and we're going to mix this up and uh, knead it 
because the idea is we want some water glass on every single particle of sand. And the idea is here you will feel that when it becomes moist, when the entire batch becomes moist, then you've got enough of this, and I've got to add a little bit more. Now this newspaper works nice because you can pick it up, get the dry sand mixed in, and when you're done, throw the whole thing away. Down by my feet I have a bucket with uh, warm water in it. I'm going to use that to rinse my hands. You don't want to wash your hands in a sink and get this uh, sand in the uh, drain. Okay, it's feeling pretty good. I feel I need just a little more. Make sure it's all mixed. Now I'm going to take the pipe and I'm going to start filling it. And let's ram it a little bit with this dowel. A little bit more in. I'm going to turn it around and see what the other end looks like. That doesn't feel quite hard enough there, so I'm going to pack it just a little bit from this end. Smooth it off. And now it's ready to gas. I'm going to wash my hands off. Here we go with the carbon dioxide. I'm going to put the cup, I'm trying to release it uh, relatively easily. I put the screen and shims down on the bottom so that uh, hopefully some of the gas will go through. I'm going to flip it around. It's starting to feel hard. Put some on the back side. I think that's enough gas. I'm using my Ryobi tool, which is like a Dremel tool, and we got a one inch abrasive. And I'm I'm slitting it down until I hit sand, and I'm wearing safety goggles for this. And when I complete the cut, I'll put it on the bench there and we'll take it apart. Alright, the cut is complete. We'll put a screwdriver in here and see if we can pry it apart. And there we are. Ta-da! A little crumbling there, which we don't care too much about. That side's a little harder to get off than the other side. There we are. Now there is a groove on each side. This still feels wet, by the way, but it's hard. Now, uh, when we cast this up, of course, We'll have uh, just the opposite of that uh, of a groove. We'll have a little bit of a ridge, and but that's all going to be machined out when we uh, machine the casting. So, uh, not to worry. Uh, all right, that concludes the six parts of pattern making and core making, and uh, 
later on when the weather breaks I'm going to pour the casting we might take up this a little bit more if there's any interest and show you some of the steps in machining the cylinder casting. I hope this wasn't too long and boring for you because it went on for a long long time it took me several weeks to do this so uh, this is Tubal Kane saying so long for now.